Well, many people have started holiday shopping earlier because of supply chain concerns, but if you are shopping online, be wary of scammers. Summit Action News anchor Alicia Smith found out the red flags to look out for so you don't waste your money. As I've been following over the last month, many retailers rolled out their sales earlier than usual, and a lot of people got into the holiday spirit to online shop as expected. But if you find a deal of a lifetime, a Scrooge of a scammer may be the one behind it. Holiday bargain hunters, beware. Online purchase scams are on the rise. Where are you seeing the most activity when it comes to online scams? It's kind of all over the board. That's really the interesting thing. You know, Nick Biasini is head of outreach for Cisco Talos, a threat intelligence organization with cybersecurity researchers, and he says schemers are trying to grab your attention online to lure you offline, dangling sweet deals related to the hottest toys out there. They'll say, hey, we have one of these consoles. I have a PS5. Send me $1,500. You may actually get a PlayStation 5 box, but it may be filled with rocks. So remember the Better Business Bureau's first online purchase scam prevention tip. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. How much money on average are people losing in these shopping scams? I can tell you from January of this year to November, we've had 449 people in Michigan lose $138,000 and change. Tip number two, before you buy, do your research. The BBB found 81% of those who did not research the website through an independent source ended up losing money. Three, beware of fake websites. They often have grammatical mistakes, errors in the URL, and usually a slew of bad online reviews. Four, beware of deals on social media. Scammers will try to entice you while you're scrolling along. Five, watch out for fake tracking numbers. The BBB says 54% of those who received shipping information found out it was fake. Six, pay with a credit card, not a debit card or any other non-traditional method. You do not want to give the scammers direct access to your bank accounts. Seven, don't believe everything you see. Last week, I received two texts from unknown numbers, the first about a Costco gift card with an odd link, the second, a Home Depot gift card with another link. They didn't even spell Depot correctly. Me clicking that link does what? It's going to open up the gates for more and more scams. By the way, scammers are very skilled at creating graphics and fonts and seals that look official. On that note, if you see the BBB accreditation seal, you can verify that on BBB.org. As always, don't waste your money. I'm Alicia Smith, 7 Action News.